So this will be the ninth video in the Blue Beam video series for steel erectors. And we'll be going over doing a steel erection takeoff in Blue Beam. So we'll jump right in there. So we've already got the drawing set up for the labels like we went over in the first video in the video series. And then of course we've already got the details hyperlinked like we went over in the fifth video. In the last video, video eight, I showed you the tool chest for that I've created for Bluebeam. It's a profile for Bluebeam for still erection. And of course it matches, integrates all the tasks that I have built in the Bluebeam profile match the tasks that are inside the still erection bit wizard. There's right at 300 of them that have tried true production rates for labor, crane and weld time. Uh, associated to them. Uh, with that said, first thing we're going to do is come and set the scale. Pretty simple to do. Go to tools, measure, calibrate. I'm going to select two points. Type in 16 foot Seven and eighth inches. That's pretty crazy. I'm not going to do the eighth inch. I'm just going to call it close enough with a 16 foot seven. Apply the scale. And then we want to verify that it is correct. Sixteen foot seven inches. Move that over here so we And so from there, we're ready to start our takeoff. Uh, I'm not going to do a full takeoff, but I'm going to take off this one page, this little three-story building. Uh, always kind of want to look at that project, how, how you're going to attack the takeoff. And on this one, I'll show you what I'm going to do here. Grab my columns, 30 foot. All you do is select the tool, click on it, or, or the task, click on it. And then come to the drawing and click on the drawing. And I'll show you how I speed up my takeoffs by kind of looking at how I'm going to tack the, the takeoff on it. So what I did here, I need to get this out of my way though. So I'm going to take off those columns and the beams on that column line. And then what I'll do is come and highlight all those. Hold the control key down. And copy it to all the other like column lines. And then I'd come over here, grab the next beam, W16. And just so you know, the reason I have the different beam sizes is because in the steel erection bit wizard, I have tried and true production rates that include the full process. And of course, as the beam size gets bigger, it's going to also uh, bolt, you're gonna be more bolts. That's why you'll see I have the 610, 12, 14, 16, 21, 24, 27, 36, 44, you know, 30, 33 inch beam. I'm gonna do one more. And then of course, once I do those ones, we have typical beams. And of course, this is a simple project and it is for my demo purposes mainly, but it's gonna be the same principle of any type of project as far as the takeoff goes. So now we got all the beams and columns pretty much taken off. Just grab these around the perimeter.
couple moments while it's there. I'll grab those real quick. So basically, it's just a matter of running through this drawing and, and uh, taking a, taking the project off. Just simple. Go over there to the tool chest, select your task, come over to the drawing, and, and count it. If it's not colored, it's not counted. That's what one nice thing about doing a digital takeoff. It makes it pretty uh, pretty simple to get get through it and make sure that you got everything picked up. Just real quick, show you how to do stair flights. Some landings there and again these are all have tried and true production rates associated that we tracked over many years inside the still direction bid wizard that will uh, just makes it simple for me and I always included that full process in still direction bid wizard because I wanted the takeoff to be very very simple very quick so I included the whole process for how long it's gonna take me to uh, to install that task from off the truck to you walking off the job. It's just a matter of clicking. I'm trying to do this quick to make this video as short as possible, but I'm, I'm just going to do this one floor. Gives you a real good idea of how I'm doing a takeoff within Bluebeam. We got this detail 9301. It's got a bent plate. So, you know, this is the downfall I find from Blue Bean. I think the hyperlinking is awesome, but now to get back to where I was at on my takeoff, I have to click this back button. I'm not sure what's going on with Blue Bean here. I have to hit this back button multiple times to get it to get me back to the drawing I was at, which I find that is a downfall. They should just have a button that I click previous page. And it would take me directly back, but that's that's one of my frustrations with Blue Bean for a takeoff. I don't particularly myself. I don't use Blue Bean for takeoffs. I use another software just because I find it more beneficial, and that's one of the one of the reasons right there is for that back button. It it really for me hurts me. Now to take off the angle, I just click at the points around the building. Another frustration I have doing a takeoff in Blue Beam is you'll notice I want to I want to take off that perimeter angle right on that beam line because that's where it's going basically. And in Blue Beam, once I click those uh, points, it for whatever throws these little tails on there and puts it offsets it, which you'll see that all the way around the drawing. It makes the the takeoff look a little bit uh, funky, I think, but it does it does the job. It's got me the quantity the length so. When you look at the cost of blue beam, you know, I guess you can't have everything, but it seems like when I'm clicking on that perimeter angle, it would put it right there where I click it at. But it throws these little tails on it and throws it off to the side. But the main thing is we're wanting to get the quantity of that perimeter angle, the leaner foot. So I think, you know, it, it works. Then we'll come. We do have shear studs. I'm not going to count those Eat, uh, inside of uh, Blue Beam. You do have to count those manually still. There's another takeoff software out there that will count those for me on automation. 
which really speeds up the process. But with the blue beam, we'd have to count those manually. Uh, let's just do one thing real quick here. This detail 70302, it's, it's going to these columns. These little uh, columns go around the perimeter. Just kind of show you how I handle that quickly. Go to seven, we got basically two kickers, two wedge anchors, and a column up here that welds. So how I would handle that, come back to the page. And what I would do for that instance, because it's happening at all these columns, is I would come down to my kickers. I would take two of those. Vertical anchors. I would take two of those. And a weld vertical tube. And then once I got those five items taken off there, I would rope around them, hold the control key down, and I'm going to go and drop them at every one of the locations where it's going to happen. Instead of me clicking at every location five times, I do one takeoff and make it up. I hit the wrong one. And like I say, it's, I don't use Bluebeam myself for doing takeoffs. I have another software that, that I find more beneficial for me for doing my erection takeoffs, but with that said, Blue Beam gets it done. I mean, not knocking Blue Beam in any way because it, it definitely uh, going to definitely get it done. But I'm not going to go around the whole drawing. You get the idea. Just kind of showing you a shortcut there, how you just do you know one location, copy and paste them. Uh, then the last thing we have to do on this one is is the decking. Size of the deck. And we're just going to run around, run around the perimeter of the building. And that would probably be a little more accurate if I was actually doing this for reals, but just for this purpose, you. Uh, Trying to get through here as quick as possible. Keep the video as short as possible. But now we got the ducking taken off. And so there, there's that floor taken off. And we, of course, we got the shear studs we still have to do. And I'd have to hit those other details to verify. But you get the general idea of how I'm doing a takeoff or still erection within Bluebeam. Uh, if you do have any questions about this process, you can give me a call at 505 249 two three nine zero and hope you get some value out of this and make it a great day